Let's say a very good evening to our Kira K. Dixon, who I'm sure has had a long, wet day out there in PJ National Career. But what's the latest? <laughs> Yes, Anna, I've had better days out on the PGA Tour, but you know what? We're very lucky to get to do this. So I spoke with Steve Rintoul, chief refer referee of the PGA Tour. The golf course at PGA National took on 1.72 inches of water today in about three and a half hours. So the course drained beautifully so that players were able to get back and resume their rounds. Now, as we think about tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., as you mentioned, will be our start time. They're hoping to end by 11 a.m. AM. Uh, the only thing that might present an issue for tomorrow is if in the event that there is a playoff, uh, apparently the weather is presenting possible thunderstorms from 12 to 5 p.m. tomorrow evening. So if any, if there are any other delays or they go longer than 11 a.m., we do start uh, flirting with a bit of risk there. So fingers crossed, hopefully everything will be okay. We'll be able to finish everything up by tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, we've got a large handful of guys who will be going uh, back home tomorrow, sleeping and coming back and being right up in contention. They're chasing Austin Eckert, who's at 15 under through seven holes. Kira, I know you just had a, court to, uh, a chance to catch mm -hmm. up with him just moments ago. Uh, what can you tell us? Yes, well, Austin Eckrode is in his second year on the PGA Tour, and uh, he's finding himself in a position that is a bit familiar to him. He was in a position similar to this at the Byron Nelson last year when he went out in the last group. Now, Jason Day ended up shooting nine under that day and winning the golf tournament. So he is very much applying those lessons to this final round, and I spoke with him earlier about just the start that he had today. A little shaky at the start, but then, you know, I was able to make some birdies, so... Really solid, kind of how the rest of the week has been. So, What has your timing been like all day today? Because you come out and kind of want to have your normal warm-up, but then the rain delay happens. So what has that been like just, just sitting here and waiting all day? Yeah, it's been weird. Um, I started my warm-up, and then I got, you know, the horn blew. But I was able to still get my full warm-up before I went out and played again. So it was, you know, once I got warmed up, you know, got back out to the golf course, it was really just a normal, you know, normal day. But... The fact that it started at 5 o'clock was a little different. You mentioned feeling a little bit shaky. Is there a, a way that when you prepare for tonight, do you see tomorrow as just a fresh start, almost like a new round begins? Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to finish the seventh hole this afternoon or this evening was I wanted to make it as much like a normal round. I'm, I'm going to start on a driver on the eighth hole. And, um, you know, I think I'll just go in tomorrow like it's a brand new day. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you for the time. Thanks. So for Austin, it will be a fresh start in the morning, and he'll get to enjoy it with some friends and family along for the ride. His wife Sally has flown in. Several of his family members are here. His agent is here, and they'll be all walking along to potentially celebrate tomorrow afternoon. Good stuff, yeah. Not exactly the perfect way for a Sunday to play out, but a very exciting Monday for Austin Eckroat and uh, some more guys in this field, Kira. Thank you very much. Go home, get dry, and have a nice warm shower. All right, well, this isn't the first time this season we have seen horrendous weather on the PGA Tour, Rolf. Uh, the West Coast was just absolutely brutal. This was Pebble Beach. Sunday never happened. 60 mile per hour winds, just terrible stuff. Yeah, and the wind can really blow here at PGA National. Um... But it didn't today, so that's a good thing. 1.7 inches uh, for the day is a lot, but... Yeah. This was Phoenix as well, of course, just a couple of weeks ago. That Wednesday program was cancelled. Hail! Hail in Phoenix in February. What was going on? First round was suspended. The fans were sort of dealing with mudslides. I mean, it was just an absolute mess out there. And then this was today. Still fans trying to get a photo with the bear. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to see much in that photo, but hey, they still had a good time out there. But it was just absolutely miserable. And ultimately, as we mentioned, a uh, three and a half hour rain delay. So that's tough for these players, especially in a final round when you've got a bunch leaderboard. How do they deal with that? And especially now for the likes of Ekro coming back and sleeping on the lead. Well, I feel almost just as bad for the fans as I do. Uh, the players. Um, players are out there playing for a lot of money and the fans are paying a lot of money to go watch them play and so it was an awkward day for them and they didn't get to see the golf that they thought they were gonna. Uh, I've been impressed with Austin Eckrode. You know they talk about the AT&T Byron Nelson, Kira Kay did uh, and it's come up a couple of times where he was uh, leading going into the final round 
uh, and got run down by Jason Day. But there was another instance about a month and a half ago out in Hawaii that nobody's talked about much, and that was uh, after 36 holes, Austin Ekro was tied for the lead at Wailai. Uh, he was playing extremely well, and on the weekend, he played horrible. He went out and shot one over par on a pretty easy golf course uh, over the weekend, and the big culprit there was his putting in the... Uh, in the first two rounds, I think he gained almost three and a half strokes to the field putting. He lost three and a half strokes to the field putting on Saturday. He only made one bogey in the first 36 holes. He made eight bogeys and a double. Uh, and a lot of that was where the putter let him down uh, on the weekend. So the question is, can he come out now uh, in the situation that he's in, pretty similar, and putt a lot better? And he has showed me that he can already today. He looks very comfortable. Uh, very solid, and so where he might not learn much from having been run down by Jason Day uh, in Texas last year, I think he will have learned a lot from Wyla. He seems pretty calm. His answers are very short mm -hmm. in those mm -hmm. interviews, you mm -hmm. know. He doesn't want to really mess around with any of this, and he's just going to focus on the job and and that right now for him is to win this tournament. Yeah, he doesn't divulge much, does he, Austin Ekro? But he's been really consistent all week long. He's been in the top three after every round so far. And at the moment, he is your leader by one. And let me remind you again, uh, play will resume and coverage will start at 8 a.m. Eastern tomorrow on Golf Channel and Peacock.